mouse people claim that's better than the Model O. The mouse like no other. What is this mouse? It's the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste. And today I'm going to be reviewing it. So recently, I bought the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste and I'm going to be reviewing it so you know if you should get it or not. The HyperX Pulse Fire Haste has a honeycomb design, which lets your hand relax on it pretty well while sweating Fortnite. I mean Minecraft. Hashtag Fortnite sucks. Anyway, the Pulse Fire Haste is HyperX's first try in lightweight gaming mice. It comes in at a total of 59 grams, so it's pretty light. Maybe a little too light. I'll get to that later. The size of the mouse is pretty small, coming in at a height of 1.5 inches, 4.8 inches length, and 0.2 inches width. Smaller than most gaming mice nowadays. I'll bet it's even smaller than your mom's office mouse. The mouse comes in a standard HyperX box. It comes with the mouse, a quick start guide, HyperX information sheet, an extra set of mouse feet, and the best part of my opinion, it comes with grip tape. And the mouse feels a lot better with it on, but sadly it doesn't improve your drag clicking. If you're the type of person that jitter clicks during PvP, then this is the mouse for you. There's just enough space for your finger, and with the grip tape on, your finger won't slip off. Unless you've got 5 year old hands, then there's not a lot of room to butterfly click on this mouse. You can still do it, your fingers will probably slip off though. This is a mouse that can double click, but it's really hard. I still can't do it consistently. Drag clicking. This is a big one for me. The reason I got this mouse was so I could got bridge because speed bridging gets pretty boring once you're good at it. But I soon found out that it didn't exactly live up to what I expected. This mouse is only useful for short dragging. It's terrible when it comes to long dragging. So if you're trying to learn telly, then this isn't the mouse for you. When I short drag, I usually get around 15 to 18 CPS while my left hand is holding it. If my right hand is holding it while I short drag, I usually get around 5 CPS. The truth is, the software sucks. I couldn't find any way to change the debounce time. Otherwise, this would have been a better mouse to drag click with. The side buttons on this mouse are in pretty good position, unless you have a fat thumb. In all my time using this mouse, I've never accidentally pressed one of the side buttons. And finally, the conclusion. Do I recommend this mouse? Yes and no. Yes, because if you're looking for a first ever gaming mouse, then this is a really solid option. And no, because if you bought this mouse for god bridging, or drag clicking in general, then you're out of luck. You should go for the Model O. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Is the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste better than the glorious Model O? No. From my experience with this mouse, it is not better than the Model O. Some improvements could be made, like making the mouse a bit heavier, so that when short dragging it doesn't move as easily. Second, the mouse could be bigger. I have 10 year old hands and my two butterfly fingers don't even completely fit on the mouse. Third, adding adjustable debounce time. If they did that, this mouse would be a lot better. That's all I've got for you today, I'll see you in another video. Bye!